Hello again, welcome to part two, and in this video I want to start off by discussing how your dream surroundings can force you to adapt your flying techniques. So imagine I'm dreaming right now. Here I am in this room. Not much space to do the run up and kick off technique, is there? So what do I do? Well, like I said in the previous video, I adapt. I change my technique. As always, whatever feels right for you is what you should do, but this is what feels right for me. I hop up. I can do this pretty much in any surroundings, however enclosed. Then, I gently glide to either my right or my left, doesn't matter which side. Then, once on my side, I use swimming motions to navigate. So the understanding here is that there's not necessarily always a one-size-fits-all answer to flying techniques. Sometimes you've got to mix it up, okay? And that's one example of how I mix it up. But regardless of my surroundings, the key to flying in dreams, for me, is to not overthink it, to not overcomplicate it. It is what it is, just do it. As soon as I start doubting myself, or as soon as I start fearing what I'm about to do, I'll usually fail. I need to focus, but not over-focus. I need to embrace the thrill, but not the fear. I need to become the balance and believe. And then usually, more often than not, I can fly. But you should also know it's not always as simple as either a successful flight or a failed flight. It's not always that black and white. Sometimes I enter a flying limbo state, a state that I like to call the weight. That's a W-E-I-G-H-T, not a W-A-I-T. That's because in this state, it feels as if there's an awful lot of weight on my back. I can still fly in this state, sort of, but it's hard, real hard. And this is usually due to the fact I'm overthinking it, or that I'm panicked by a perceived emergency in a non-lucid state. For example, a recurring dream sign for me is that I'm on the run, usually from someone, a hunter, if you will. I'm being hunted. This happens less and less these days, but it does still happen on occasion. Anyway, as the hunter draws near, I panic and suddenly think, oh, I can escape, I can fly away. And so I use my run up and kick off technique. Interesting point non-lucid, yet still have access to that technique somehow. I guess it's just so ingrained within my psyche that it is a natural reaction. So anyway, as the hunter catches up, I kick off, I thrust away, but I'm panicked and I'm not lucid, so it's hard to overcome this panic state. Then I feel the weight. I can't get clearance. I can't get the right momentum to thrust up high enough to avoid the hunter's hand, which comes up, grabs my leg as I'm desperately trying to escape, drags me back down, and I'm his, as it were. As a side note, because I recognize this as a dream sign, this will often trigger lucidity at this point, but not always. But the point here is that I panicked, and that panicked state brought about the weight. So, how do you overcome this? Well, it's hard sometimes. Becoming lucid is a big help. As soon as you become lucid, you can shed that fear, shed that panicked state, and step into your power. But like I said, that's easier than it sounds. This transitions over into another small point I want to make, that I and others fly in both realms the non-lucid realm and the lucid realm. Okay, flying is not exclusive to either realm. This is a very important point. Now, flying is slightly different depending on your awareness, but fundamentally it's the same thing. One of the main differences I've noticed when flying lucidly compared to non-lucidly is that when I fly non-lucidly, I'm not as confident. Okay, simple as that really, but fundamentally it's the same thing. Another point is that confidence and lucidity tie into each other. Fear and lucidity tie into each other. 
okay? Naturally, if you affect one, you affect the other. The more confident you are, the more lucid you are. The more lucid you are, the more confident you are. In the third and final video, I'm going to discuss a more extreme example of the differences I've noticed whilst flying lucidly and non-lucidly. So tune back for that, and until then, sleep well, and see you soon.